Hi, welcome to our channel. We're J and K Barbecue. I'm Jim. My wife Karen is on the camera. Uh, we're a backyard barbecue family who is just getting into the YouTube scene. This is actually our very first video. So give us some, some love and some support. Uh, you know, again, we're just a backyard barbecue family who is hoping to eventually get into some barbecue contests. So this is kind of just to document our journey. Today we're going to be doing a tri-tip and we're going to show you how we do tri-tip here in Arizona. Uh, we're going to fire it up the trigger outside and show you how we do it. Welcome aboard guys. Thanks. tip here from Costco. Um, as you can see on the meat, the grain goes like this on a tri-tip, and it's almost like two pieces of meat. Um, I only bring that up because when you slice it, you always want to go across the grain because that will make the uh, most tender. So you kind of just want to eyeball it right when you see it to kind of get an idea of where the grain goes on these because um, after it's cooked, it's a little bit harder to see. All right, we're just going to use a little olive oil as a binder. So we'll just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on our tri-tip. Um, and all, all this does is allow the rub to stick to the meat. It really serves no other purpose. So, um, and we're really using two types of rubs today. Um, the importance of layering the rub is that you're building... Um, different flavor profiles. Um, layering rub is very important and one that will help you achieve a little bit better barbecue. So right now our first layer is just an all-purpose rub. It has salt, pe pepper, garlic. Um, a lot of them that you find on the market out there will call it AP, just all-purpose rub. Um, so we'll layer that on first. Um, then we have some Montreal steak. I really like this on tri-tip, um, so we'll use that. And it's got a real coarse grind, so you get some good bark on the outside. So this piece of steak can take a lot of rub. You know, it looks like a lot, but really it's not all that much. So when you get the rub on it, you just kind of want to pat it in. That will help the rub adhere to the meat. You want to make sure you get all sides. So make sure you get those sides and those back ends. And then when you flip it over, you're just going to want to repeat. Um, you want to keep one hand wet, one hand dry, just so you're not doing any cross contamination. We're going to put a little bit more rub on there and get this ready. So again, just some all-purpose rub. I'm using Malcolm Reed's um, AP rub, but there's lots of them out there. Again, we're just layering on the flavor, so a little salt, pepper, garlic, and then our coarse Montreal steak. Okay. Um, that should be good there. Now what we want to do is after we pat it in, we just want this to stay on the meat for about 10 or 15 minutes. That will allow us to go out and fire up the pellet grill, get that up to temp. Um, as you can see, it's already kind of sweating through, but that's what you want to see on a tri-tip. You want to see that, um, that moisture starting to get pulled out from the rub. That will help you have a fantastic product at the end. All right, let me get out to the grill and get that started up. All right, welcome back. Um, as you can see, the meat has sweated in about 15 minutes, so we're ready to throw this on the Traeger. Traeger is up to temp. We'll be running at uh, 
275 today. We're going to use um, some combination pellets. We're using maple, apple, and hickory blend. It's really good on, on most things. We use that um, probably 90% of the time around here. So um, I'll get this on the grill. Meet me out there. All right, we'll get this on the grill. Just want to position it, um, you know, so it'll cook evenly. So we'll get that right here on the center and we'll let this go. We'll check in on it in about 30 minutes. We are shooting for an internal temperature about 130. So we'll check in on it again in about 30 minutes. See you guys back. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. We're gonna check on the tri-tip. Um, you know, we just wanna kind of comment on, you know, unlike baking, barbecue is all about internal temperature. So, you know, there's a lot of people in the hobby that do hot and fast, cook at a much higher temperature, you know, anywhere from 300 to 350. There are people who, you know, the old traditionalists who cook nothing but low and slow around 225. Honestly, barbecue can be done anyway. Um, you know, it's it's really just about getting the internal temperature exactly where it needs to be for the cut of meat that you're cooking. Um, for us, you know, we're shooting at an internal internal temperature about 130 degrees. Um, it's about 115 out here today in Arizona, so uh, you know, bear with us. We're uh, we're dealing with some uh, some heat ourselves. All right, looks really good so far. You can see the uh, setting up nicely. The it'll have a nice crust on the outside. So we're just going to give her a flip, and uh, we're not worried about the internal temp right now. We know we're well below the tar target temperature. Uh, but it may be here in another 15 or 20 minutes. We'll take a uh, take note of where she's at and um, From there we're gonna pull it off and let it rest for at least 15 to 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer if we can um, And we'll talk about why that's important um, Once we get it off the grill. Okay, thanks. wanted to check the internal temps. It should be about ready. 35, 38, 37. Yeah, we're good. This is good to go. So I just want to talk a little bit about why it's important to let the meat rest. As the meat cooks, the muscles tighten up. It forces all the uh, moisture to the, almost to the surface. And if you were to cut it into right away, you'd have juice everywhere. So you always want to let the meat rest. And depending on what kind of meat, it's really uh, de de determines how long you want to let it rest. For something like this, 20 minutes would be you know, ideal. If you could let it go to about 30, that would be, even be better. Um, but we'll get it in and let it rest and show you what it looks like when we cut it up. Just wanted to add one quick thing. One of the most important things that you're going to buy when you're just getting started is um, a digital thermometer. Um, sometimes if you're buying one of the pellet grills, they'll come with it. Um, if not, you're definitely going to want to invest in a really good thermometer. This is a Thermapen, um, and it's a little bit on the higher side, but um, you, you'll use it without confidence and honestly, you know, spend the money, get something that you're going to have that'll last forever, and this one will never let you down, promise. All right, um, the tri-tip has rested about 20 or 25 minutes, so we should be good to go here. Uh, remember, the grain runs like this. So when we slice it, we're gonna go across the grain. That's really, really important. 
for those of you who are just starting out, you always want to go across the grain. That's going to make um, the most tender slice. So we're just going to flip this over like this. And then when we get to this side of the tri-tip, the grain runs like this. So we're going to slice that one a little bit different. Um, so when we get started, we're just going to go at a slight ballast. See how gorgeous that is? You see it's... You see how much juice is running through that? You see that? See how, how juicy that is? Cook perfectly. See how juicy? Because we let that meat rest, it's, um, all the juice has been absorbed back to the middle of the meat which is giving us these perfect slices. Look how juicy that is. How incredible that is. Tri-tip is one of our favorite cuts of meat. You know, it's, it's kind of one of those undiscovered meats. You know, here in the West, it's pretty popular, but back East, we hardly ever see this type of meat. Uh, we picked up the two of these at the size at Costco for um, you know, about $27. So you can see for, you know, $13 or $14, how much it yields. It'll feed the entire family. And it's just going to melt in your mouth. Look how juicy that meat is. Again, so we're just going to turn this over. And we'll get this one across the grain as well. We'll get a... Uh, you know, on the outside, it'll be a little bit more medium for those who like it that way. And then as we get into the inside, it'll be perfect medium rare. All right. Okay. Um, quick little taste test. That is so amazing. That rub. Very well balanced. But still allows that meat to shine through. This is killer. I don't care who you are. I just want to recap what we did today. We cooked a tri-tip on the Traeger grill. We um, used two different kinds of rub today. We used Malcolm Reed's AP rub, which is just a salt, pepper, garlic blend as our base rub. Then over the top of that, we used um, Montreal steak seasoning as our coarse rub. They gave us a really nice bark on the outside. We cooked um, it at 275 for about an hour. Um, again, we don't pay much attention to the overall time. We take, pay more attention to the internal temperature. We pulled it off when it hit about 135. Let that rest for about 20 minutes before we dove in and sliced her up. As you can see, it's juicier than you can possibly imagine. And, um, you know, we just, as our first video, we really appreciate the support. If you can like and subscribe and give us comments based on our content, we really, really would appreciate it. You know, we're just getting started. This video is probably going to be a little rough, but as we go, we're going to get better. Um, so, you know, we will try and put out a video once a week. That will be our, our plan, and uh, we really, really appreciate the support again. We're just getting started, and, you know, this is going to document our journey as we go. We're having fun with it. That's as, that's as really as, as much as we want to accomplish right now. But hopefully, eventually, we, uh, we turn into, 
you know, definitely a, co a competition barbecue team. That's that's really what we're hoping for. Um, again, like and subscribe, and we look forward to many more videos and helping you guys. If you if you want to see a video, you know, any content, you know, give us comments, and we'll make sure that that those type of videos come out in the future. Thanks again. How's that dinner, Ma? Oh, it's amazing. This is the best dinner I've ever had. Love you.